Good morning guys. Yes, today we talk about the Bitcoin price. We are going to talk about a lot of triangles because you like triangles. We are going to see you, show you weekly triangle. I'm going to show you a daily triangle. I'm going to show you the resistance and the support of these triangles. And I'm going to tell you why we like to look at these triangles. Also going to talk about the Ethereum fees, the huge Ethereum fees that have been paid, the 2.5 million fee of Ethereum, why this could be blackmail. And of course, also talking about our friend Greg White that now openly admitted that he stole almost 80,000 Bitcoins from Mount Cox. And for the ones that missed last night's family video, here you see a small preview of what happened to my balls and to my wife's face. Enjoy watching this video and maybe even take the time to watch yesterday evening's family video. Yes, there is no price news in it, but it's a very funny video. Enjoy this one, guys. <laughs> From the beautiful island of Copacabana, let's take a jump into our office, guys. Today, really, I promise, guys, a short video. It is Saturday, and yesterday, Friday, I gave you two videos. Did you like the family video I shared with you guys yesterday evening? Oh my god, yes, I fell directly on my balls, it hurt, it. and yes, my wife smacked her face on the balls. Yes, that also hurt it. We had a lot of fun. If you didn't see the video last night, make sure to watch this video. Here is a short clip of what happened to my balls and my wife's face. Jody, what are we going to do today? Today, um, don't talk to her, ask to me. Okay. Today, yeah. we are doing like Copa Gun Challenge. Yeah, like a challenge or something? Challenge? I'm a savage. Classic bougie, right? Sexy, moody, nasty. I think it's a savage. Who's a savage? I'm a savage. Jessa? Yeah, but it's fine. No, it's not I think fine. You know Jessa wants to steal the dog. Don't care, just try. <laughs> can I also pay with Bitcoin? We are now signing our lights away because you can die. Copa Gun Challenge. I wish you were still in. can still walk straight and she can still smile I know there is no Bitcoin price content in it guys but it's also cool to see how we as a family live this crypto life it's not all about the price it's also about life that's why I always say zoom out in crypto zoom in in life because it should be more about life sadly guys I need to admit that all the live videos we have been making the last one and a half years, more than 100 videos that took many hours of creating, aren't watched as much as the videos now I'm making about the price. I would love you guys to watch these old videos where we go into these stores and Jessa tries to convince people to accept Bitcoin as a payment, where we just you know, spread the word of Bitcoin all over the world in all these beautiful countries. I would love you guys to watch these videos as well instead of only the Bitcoin price videos but I understand the price is the main factor most people are in this industry so I will continue to make these videos and I will continue to make the family videos and I hopefully in the future I can see the shift of more and more people starting to focus on these family mindset freedom type videos because that would be a sign to me that the community is shifting again from just wealth accumulating to accumulating happiness. If it comes to Bitcoin, guys, we are only seeing triangles. Triangles here, triangles there. I'm seeing triangles everywhere. Yes, that's my new poem, the triangle poem. Because if you watch YouTube, if you see all the TAs on TradingView, it is all about triangles at the moment. So let's talk about triangles. Probably these triangles are scoring at a huge way in search engine optimization SEO and Google and YouTube and all the other uh, social media channels. So I'm going to add some triangles to this video as well. 
of course like you're used guys first we look at the weekly chart the weekly chart is showing us also a triangle yes no surprise there is a triangle the triangle is formed by the huge top of resistance of 10,500. You can see this line. This was a huge resistance line the last couple of weeks. The uptrend line of the ascending triangle is the one that you see from March going upwards. Also in the weekly chart, you can see that we are making this uptrend line and we didn't break it yet. Yes, yesterday we almost broke it but we still are around 9400 ish so we are still beautiful in this weekly triangle as you can see guys it will take about two maybe three candles to break out of this weekly triangle i think it will take maximum two weeks the triangle that everybody is watching now is of course the triangle of the day chart why because people just love to stress every day about the bitcoin price it's just some kind of sportiness excitement it's that excitement that you also experience when you watch a football match you know where two teams are playing one is your favorite team and one is your less favorite team and then these these teams start to play the match and then one team scores and the other team scores so it's one against one and then we have 10 minutes left and then the last 10 minutes, you hope your team will score the winning goal and wins the match with two against one. This kind of excitement is what uh, you also experience when you trade Bitcoin and, we wa and you watch the daily charts. Because you're always watching, okay, who's going to win? The Bears or the Bulls? The Bears or the Bulls? And you probably are a Bull, so you always hope that the Bulls will win, but sometimes the Bears win as well. Um, but that doesn't mean the game is over or the competition is over or the whole season is over because you still have plenty more days to play football or to trade. But what do I want to tell you guys with this crazy story? I just want to share with you that why I think a lot of people are attracted now to this crypto industry. It's just exciting to be part of it. Um, I just introduced a good friend of me two weeks ago here on the island into the crypto world. He started to investigate, do his own research, and then you get sucked in. And then you get to see the game, and then you get to know the players, and then you get to learn how to reach the charge, and, and then you get to learn how to read the charts, and you just get excitement out of this. And that is what um, I think a lot of people find in this crypto industry, excitement, you know? excitement it's not all about the money it's also about this internal feeling of excitement that people just long for and i think crypto next to all other things that could be a passion in life are providing us of this excitement and that's just a very positive thing the more people get excited out of crypto the more our community will grow the more our community will grow the bigger base we will create for this revolution of the monetary system where we will finally break the resistance of the traditional fiat system and take it over to a new fiat system built on the blockchain where bitcoin and many other cryptos probably will be very important currencies if we look at the daily chart guys yes we can see also this beautiful triangle of course a triangle we can see triangles here we can see triangles there we will see triangles guys everywhere <laughs> So on the day, sorry, <laughs> sorry for being uh, a little bit, uh, how do you call this, melee in Netherlands, I don't know how you say it, um, in a funny mood, <laughs> let's say it like this, Whoa, there, even my hair wants to get into my mouth now, I'm talking too much probably, that's why the hair wants to stop me. On the daily chart guys, we can see that we found support on the 50 day moving average, which is a strong sign, because every time you find support there and you bounce, you know, that's beautiful to see, because then you can see that on average, the last 50 days you kept above this price, and this is exactly what we need to do now, um, to stay positive and to stay bullish, we need to stay above this 9,300 region, and maybe even take it up a little bit more to 9,600-800 region. When you look at the uptrend line in this triangle, yes, we can see that yesterday was a very close call. Some TA say, guys, we closed below this upward daily trend line, and some say, nah, we closed above this daily uptrend trend line. So mm, it is just 
below or just above it all depends on how you draw the lines because you know the top line that one is the easy one because that one is around 10,000 everybody can see this very clearly this uptrend line is the one on the daily chart that people are not like sure how to draw it some use the wigs some use the full bodies some make a combination of the wigs and the full bodies I prefer to see that we help this upward trend line yes I think the wick went through but I think the body is still in it and I think in the near future we will see this upward movement again to try and retest this 10k again why do I think this because guys if you look at the history of these ascending triangles and you compare them with other ascending triangles we saw in the past then the chance of breaking out upwards is 70%. The chance of breaking out downwards is only 30%. So if we take a look at other triangles that happened in Bitcoin price before, we could see in the, indeed that we broke out 70% of the times upwards and 30% of the time downwards. So all the people out there that are not patient enough to wait if we can break the 10,500 resistance, you could take a gamble now by buying Bitcoin because you have a 70% chance that we will break out upwards. So that's a very nice chance if you like to gamble. What do I do? I always just wait and sit out because you know, what does it matter to me if I buy Bitcoin at 9,500 now or at 10,500 if I really believe that Bitcoin will go to 100,000 in the near future. That would mean I just have $1,000 less profit. Or, so I wait it out, I sit it out, we see that we try to break 10K again, and then maybe we fall all the way back to 7,300, which is still a possibility. And then I buy the Bitcoin even cheaper at 7,300. And if Bitcoin, go down, Bitcoin then goes to 100,000, I even make 3,000 more profit. So that is the calculation I am always making or buying now. And if we then break upwards around 10,500, okay, I have $1,000 more profit, or I just wait and be patient. I take this risk of having $1,000 less profit, but I also see then the opportunity that if Bitcoin breaks down from this upward trend line to 7,300, I can buy, I can buy Bitcoin at 7,300, which would mean that if Bitcoin in the future then goes to this 100,000, I have 2,200 US dollar more profit than I buy now at 9,500. Because 9,500 minus 7,300 is 2,200. So this is the game you always need to play. I don't care if I have a little bit less profit. I just want to see profit. So that is why I'm always patient and always watching this beautiful game. That's why I zoom out in crypto. I watch all these triangles and I just think for myself, what will I do? Do I really need to take this risk or do I just need to sit out and wait till I have a confirmation, magical word in crypto, in trading, confirmation. Do I just sit and wait for the confirmation to break 10,500? Because if we would break this 10,500 line, guys, yes, we will go up and everybody will have FOMO. But believe me, if we will break it, we will come down and retest it. And that's another opportunity to buy. Because if we break a multi-year trend line of 10,500, we go up, we come down, retest it, then you buy, and then you have the most chances of doing a very good trade. I'm talking a lot now. I hope I still make sense. But to be very clear, if we would break this daily trend line at the moment, we could fall all the way back to 7,300 US dollars. You can only spend your money once and that's why you need to be patient and to buy on the best possible moment. If we just bounce from the trend line and we go upwards to 10K again and test the resistance and we break down from then, so at the end of the triangle, if we break down from the upward trend line at the end of the triangle, then we will fall down to 8,200-ish dollars. You can see very clear on the chart um, with these dotted lines where we would fall down to if we break now or if we break at the end of the triangle. By the way guys, if you want to buy Bitcoin without KYC, there is this beautiful website now that listed all these exchanges and possibilities of buying Bitcoin without KYC. I think the website is called kycnot.me. So kycnot.me, thank you for making this beautiful website and providing us of this beautiful list 
of places where we can buy bitcoins just by using an email address and without doing any know your customer verifications because that is exactly what we need to do we need to keep privacy to the people and how do we do this we do this by buying bitcoin without kyc to come back guys to the ethereum story of the high fees you know the 2.5 million fee that was paid for a transaction of 130 us dollar in ethereum Vitalik now says it is probably a huge blackmail. How can this be a blackmail? It means that the hackers have access to one of the big wallets owned by uh, Ethereum hodls. Can be exchange, can be an Ethereum will. And by having access to the wallet, they are now threatening this hodler of this wallet that he needs to pay ransom. Because if he's not going to pay this ransom, they are just going to empty his wallet by sending these transactions with these huge fees so they liquidate its wallet for example this guy has 10 million us dollars in ethereum in his wallet and now these guys got access to this wallet and they are saying okay guy you need to pay us 1 million dollar worth of ethereum if not we just start to send your ethereums with really high fees so we burn the ethereum you can never get them back this guy doesn't believe them and they just prove it why how do they prove it they sell they send this beautiful amount of 130 us dollars with a fee of 2.5 million dollars so that means that this guy just loses more than 2.5 million dollars of his whole stack of 10 million dollars now this guy probably will pay 1 million dollars of um, ransom to this group that is blackmailing him so vitalik thinks and another chinese company thinks that this is what is happening yes this could be the answer let's keep track of this beautiful drama thing in the industry because it's just fun to watch what is happening and i just would like to see how this whole drama situation will end then maybe at the end we all will know the truth how it happened and why it happened and this drama story will then again form a beautiful episode for this beautiful cartoon bitcoin and friends if you never saw them just google it btc and friends bitcoin and friends that started with you know the creation of bitcoin and then takes you in a cartoon like series through everything what happened to uh, bitcoin how bitcoin evolved in life but then through the eyes of a very creative group um, creating btc and friends probably this story will be added to that one as well maybe even our bitcoin family all in story will in the future be added to btc and friends because we me and my family have been supporting you guys from the beginning <laughs> and we just like to watch your episodes and if we if we want to talk a little bit more drama yes we have some more drama oh i love this drama you know it's not always negative drama drama can also be very positive now we have drama again about a guy that is uh, really known for his drama his name is greg right or some refer to him as greg wrong because we never know if he is right or wrong but guys did you see the latest news the latest news greg now claimed to be the owner of a few bitcoin wallets as you know you know 150 bitcoin wallets he added this list into court and these are my wallets he stated the lawyers even now uh, wrote a beautiful letter where he's very state these wallets belong to Greg, it's all stamped and it's all official. And what happened now, one of these wallets that Greg claims to be his, is used in the huge Mount Gox hack. Mount Gox was an exchange for the ones that are very new to the industry that was hacked all in the beginning, which created a huge crash at that time. So people hacked the Mount Gox, they took 79,000 Bitcoins and sent this to a wallet and this wallet he claims now to be his to be clear this is like almost 80,000 bitcoins that's almost that's like 750 million us dollars so who in the world is going to be this stupid to admit that he stole 750 million dollars i just really can't believe that crack would be this stupid maybe one of you guys is smarter than me please tell me what would be the punishment for somebody that admits to have stolen 750 million dollars from an exchange from all the people not even the exchange from all those people that were huddling their bitcoins on this exchange so he stole money from all of them so please tell me what do you think that will happen in this drama episode of crack right Will he go into prison? Will he just get fined? Will he just get the rights to his wallet? Or will he probably turn his story into a new story where he is a Robin Hood and stole these Bitcoins to keep them safe 
for all those people that were losing money. And in the future then, when he got access to these again, he would give them back to all these people. Man, this story can have multiple ends and also probably a story that will be added to BTC and friends, guys. That was it for today. I wish you guys an amazing weekend. Like I always say guys, zoom out in crypto. Please zoom in in life. Enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living. Just enjoy the small things like waking up together with your wife and children. They are still alive. Pinch yourself. You are still alive. Be thankful and happy that you all woke up healthy as a family. These are even the small things in life you know you need to focus on every morning again. This will give you a very fulfilling feeling of happiness because you focus on the most important thing in life and that is probably you, your family and your friends guys. See you tomorrow again. Bye!